Hey guys and welcome back to part 2 of our Concerted 3 tutorial, specifically the game for our basics uh, mini-series within the Concerted 3 mega-series. Uh, as you can see, it's literally a platformer and if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know this is literally the assets from the uh, doggy platformer tutorial. Well, the first ones I did on Construct 2. So we're back at it. We're doing with Construct 3. We're going to be dealing mainly with just the video game and then we'll move a little bit into the menu setup as we do have a load and save function in this video game. So everything that we're going to be covering is platforming, a basic enemy, basic in uh, health uh, basic health system but it should cover literally everything um, a health pickup a save and load function as I mentioned before a go back a in a basically a finish uh, game uh, scenario where we finish you know we get to the basically the objective is to get to the end of the level and to uh, reach the doggy house and then we'll be all set so all the assets, um, as usual, are going to be linked down below. They are from Kinney from Open Game Art, and they are free to use however you want. I use them, of course, as um, a good open source material for my tutorials. So let's get straight into this. Now, um, all right, so basically, what you're going to need is, as usual, uh, a global. Um, number variable for the character's health so uh, we're going to set that to 100 so to add that we're going to click right and we're going to add a global variable number and we're going to just type uh, health uh, be a little bit more specific if, if you want to be like player health in case you have like enemy health or something like that and then you just want to set this to number and then the initial thing is uh, the initial value is going to be 100 and you can just describe it say player health uh, I mean you could literally just like description option is optional but uh, players health okay boom there you go clouds okay so that's actually for the movement of the clouds uh, but we kind of didn't need that specifically for this but uh, they're just kind of like gonna like loop through to add more um, depth the player himself uh, actually has some pretty important characters. So he actually has separate animations, so it's idle, jump, move, and bend. These are each one frame because that's provided in the game pack. Behaviors. Uh, scroll to, platform, bound to layout. To add that, you, you are just going to click on the character and right under uh, in the properties panel, you're going to find something called behaviors. Add a behavior and you're just going to uh, click on whatever which ones you want um, so on one of these uh, it's going to be uh, keyboard press oh yeah so we are actually going to need insert an object uh, keyboard control um, so it has like, hold on a second. add event okay so we have an array we have audio browser keyboard local storage and mouse and those are all the things that you're going to have to import into your video game so on keyboard press so add insert another option system not system keyboard oops well, let's go let's go down here real quick add an event we're going to go to keyboard and we're going to go to on key pressed that's key released on key press it's going to say something we could hit K for a special attack or something um, in this case we're going to go up arrow we're going to say done and then we're going to add an action and since this player has a platform plugin um, in his coding or now enabled in his uh, game object we're going to say simulate control we're going to say jump boom and that's actually what you do for all of his controls. So on press up, we're going to simulate uh, platform pressing jump. We're going to set his animation. So on add action, so we're going to go to Sprite 9 again. You should be labeling these player. We're going to be setting uh, set animation. And it should actually just pop up. Jump. Boom. Done. And you're good. 
Okay, on press uh, the right arrow key, the uh, we're going to simulate uh, pressing right. We're going to set the animation to move, and we're going to set him not mirrored. So he's automatically going to be set default to look right. On um, press left arrow key, we're going to say, hey, platform pressing left. Set animation to move, set mirrored. So he's going to flip his character sprite. On um, press down, set animation to bend. This is in case he's going underneath, uh, like a, uh, in case he's going into a, like a crawl space. And then on arrow, on any key release, we're going to say, hey, set idle, ma um, idle animation or set animation to idle. On um, player health, and this is why we need a global number uh, health for the player's health, is uh, on the system. Okay, so this is in your system variables, so that gear. We're going to say, hey, um, variable health, if comparison is greater or equal to 50, we're going to set the uh, frame animation uh, to 1, so sprite 14, or the uh, heart. So it's going to be health. So in, the, in this case, our heart icon has a two animations. So it's a full heart, half heart and a zero, uh, no heart, this is when he's dead or he's incapacitated. And animation three is just literally just half a heart and a whole heart. That's when you're under 50 or you know under 30 and you're close to zero and it's like, hey, you really need to find a, a doggy treat. Um, so that's gonna be on every tick, it's gonna check that. On system uh, health less or equal to 30, every tick, uh, set the health anim uh, so we're going to set to animation three uh, play from beginning that's literally when it's just flipping between two frames on he on health so okay so on every take it's going to check to go to uh, so on, if it's around you know 50 ish it's going to go to a half heart if it's below 30 ish it's going to go flipping between the zero uh, no heart and half a heart and if the tick is uh, uh, greater or equal to a hundred, it's going to set the animation, uh, set animation frame to zero. So literally, a whole heart. And then set animation. Since we have two animation types, it's going to set it to uh, one. Okay, on collision with the RB or Sprite Fifteen. System, subtract 90 from health. This is to explain the uh, health system. On collision with the cookie, our doggy treat, add 50 health and destroy the cookie. End level when he has collided with his doggy house and go back to the menu. And then on collision with Sprite 11, or the gold box with a little exclamation point, we're going to save the game. All right. So it's quickly rename this B dog treat save box and this is going to be the dog house All right, so now that we have uh, basically named everything, we're going to uh, actually have to show you on menu. So, okay, so on the load function, we're gonna need mouse left click on the load button, system load game from slot my save. Okay, that goes from right here, on collision with save box, save game to my save slot and that specifically this deals with an event this gear system okay so we're going to save that and uh, cancel on that one okay so we're going to play this we're going to try this again okay so here we go 
So, uh, let's go back, way back to the beginning. We're gonna play this, try this again, boom. So we have the studio logo, the menu. We can mute and play the music. We can exit, load, and play, so we can hit play. Boom. We have our health. We're down below 100. And now, we're gonna go here. We're gonna hit the save box. It's gonna save us. And I'm actually gonna wait to work up, and then I'm gonna get off of it. That's when it saves it. And then, Ooh. One second. Something happened with the house. Okay, layer. Okay, that needs to be in layer zero. So layer one deals with like all the gooey items that don't move like the heart. Okay, so we're gonna. Make sure that's where it needs to be. Yes, layer zero. Hit play. Try again. Boom. All right. So here we go. Let's jump over that and collide with, with, collide with the B. We're gonna hit save there. We're gonna leave that. Go over to the doghouse. Boom. Now we're gonna hit load. There you go. Now we're gonna jump back onto here. Jump onto it, and every time we jump onto it, it saves it. Or it collides with it. We're going to hit load. Boom, there we go. So we're going to get off of this again. And we're going to just... See, so there you go. And then, home. And we're going to go exit. And there you go. There's our game. Alright, so I know that was a basic platformer. Um... And what you could actually do if you wanted the enemy to actually just die was that uh, on collision with B. Player health, basic enemy. So, okay, we're gonna do something really, really quick. Um, oh, well, actually, we could just add it to this on collision with B, and then we could just delete the B. Destroy. So. as a simple way to have a player setup. Now I know that was a really basic system. Um, I'm gonna be working on this, adding some more stuff to this, but the next tutorial that we're gonna be actually dealing with is kind of a, a top-down, uh, either a top-down like explorer game or a top-down like space shooter game. So again, these are the basic series and then we're gonna go into the moderate and more hardcore series depending on you know what you guys want and how fast you want to get to that setup. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, like, subscribe, comment down below for more stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.